This is this mannequin's wearing a dress. Looks nice. Oh shit! Oh no 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 shit! Run run! What the hell are you doing? Shit! Oh fuck! Come on! Fight him off! Fight him off! No, I probably should not have done that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Fallback Friday special, a Halloween uh, Fallback Friday, right here on Odds and Ends Gaming, part of Oddities and Entrails. Ooh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> At any rate, I hope uh, you uh, everybody's enjoying their Friday. I hope you're enjoying uh, your, uh, you know, your October so far. We're getting ever closer to Halloween. I hope you're staying safe out there amidst the pandemic. You know, be, remember to to have fun, but stay safe. And uh, we are continuing on with our third episode of. Of clock tower so last time that I played this I ran into uh, you know Pamela Voorhees who drugged me and locked me in the room with a uh, starving man something borrows it seems like the borrows family is um, you know I keep hearing that name um, fed him a piece of ham so he let me let me alone I managed to get out um, I found some weird room that I couldn't really do much in uh, and then I managed to actually escape in the car, which turned out to be a fake ending. It was a, a cop-out ending. So um, I decided that we're gonna we're gonna continue. And I just found uh, I hadn't seen this option before, ending list. And as you can see, I cleared the G ending, which I guess was you know goddamn horrible is what it stands for. But uh, there's several ending options, so I, I want to see at least one good ending if I can. So we're gonna see if we can do that. Um, two Fridays left in the month of October, so I'm gonna try to see if we can beat that game before. October comes, but let's go ahead and, and uh, pick up where we left off and see what uh, what we can do. So last time, yeah, this is where I was in the garage, uh, and I can basically, you know, make my way out in the car, but no, don't want to run. Stop running. Um, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna take another quick look in here just to see if there's not anything else. I think I did already. But everything just kind of blends together. So I just want to make sure there's nothing else that I can get or inspect in here. Sometimes I've noticed that I mouse over, you know, some of these things. And I, I don't notice that there is, like, an actual way of interacting with them. So I just want to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing here today. Doesn't look like I can pick up that shovel, which I don't know why I wouldn't. You know, there's. Oh wait, can I can I touch that box? I don't remember if I've tried that before. Okay, nothing else in here. I probably did. What I got in my inventory: black robe, rope, car key, perfume, and a rock. Be nice if I could use that rock as a weapon. Uh, can't mess with those hay bales. Okay, so I'm gonna basically just continue on with what I did last time and just check every single door and see what uh, what I can find that uh, that is different, that is new. I know it gets a little bit repetitive for you guys. I do apologize, um, but this is the first time I've ever played this game, so. I'm pretty sure I've already checked everything in here. I don't think I can... That's the calendar. I just want to be thorough, because like I said, I do want to get a good ending. I feel like I already have checked most of the rooms. Yeah, I'm not going to check. I'll, I'll check. 
I can't open that anymore. That's the calendar. I wish I could run without like lowering my health or my. Apparently. Iron frying pan. Can I pick it up? No, I can't. Okay. I haven't seen little little Campbell Soup Kid in a little while. Not that I'm eager to make his acquaintance again, but uh, I haven't. Seen. Okay, so which door was I in? Was I in that one or this one? Pretty sure it was. Yeah, I think it's. No, where are you going? I wish it would show like the. See, that's another thing. I keep hearing the phone ringing, but it says the line has been cut. Use the silver key. Had I used that before? Oh yeah, this is where I was last time. Yeah, this is the room from last time. I couldn't really do anything in here. I don't remember, was there anything I picked up from in here? There's a note here. Time will cause adherence. The clock tower's clock stopped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she doesn't really... Nothing really else here. The mural covers the entire wall. Part of it's hidden behind the shelf. I like how she just responds with like dots, like, huh? Anything else worthy of anything in here? Wait a minute, do I have anything I can light that candle with or something? Rock, perfume. Can I use the perfume in that little jar or whatever that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not... Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't really see anything else I can do in here. That phone is driving me nuts. Especially the fact that I can't answer it for some reason. How the hell is it, is it disconnected if it's ringing? That's what I'd like to know. Alright, I'm pretty sure this was the courtyard, the pool and wall, all that. It's a swimming pool. Does this lead outside? I don't remember which, which door this was. I wish I had a map. Yeah, this leads outside. I might as well look around out here a little bit. I haven't really looked around. This is this is a bit of a shortcut from one side of the house to the other. Can I go back into that little shed? Yeah, I can. Let's see if there's anything else in there. That's the shed that the dude was locked up in, I think. What the hell is that in the background? Are those dead deer? Is that dude still here? Yeah, he's still here. He's no longer looking at Jennifer. Yeah, nothing more I can do in here. It's those moments in games, you know, when you kind of get like a little stuck where you're like, I, I don't know 
which way to do and you just gotta like jingle every doorknob so to speak until you find the one that works or jiggle every doorknob I should say you know what I'm gonna just start running around I know it's gonna drain my stamina but I'm, I'm not being chased right now so I'm, I'm hoping that <laughs> it won't be a mistake okay so, so that door's locked so no no more going this way And this chick just had to pick the loudest shoes in existence. Also folks, don't forget about our uh, first annual Halloween uh, pumpkin carving contest uh, from now until October 26th. Don't forget to submit your uh, your pumpkin designs to us on okay on Facebook and or on Discord. One entry per uh, per viewer. Uh, be sure that your name is somewhere in the photo, either like on a piece of paper, on a on a, ta a piece of tape, you know, anything that you can put it on, just to make sure that uh, we know the pumpkin is yours. On the 30th, we will be doing a special live stream where we will uh, judge your pumpkin, and we will choose the winner. And the winner will get a limited edition oddities and entrails t-shirt so we do hope that you uh, will participate we do hope that you will be submitting a design and we look forward to you winning various beverages the phone line's been cut do I have anything that can restore that? Uh, fucking I can't do it robe, no none of this, I'll fucking smash it with a rock yeah, see, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. How the hell is that phone ringing if the phone line's been cut? It makes no sense. Phone line's been cut, but yet it's ringing. Does it work now that the lights are off? I don't see how it would, but whatever. I'm, I'm willing to try anything at this point. Shut up, telephone. You're... You're fake. This is right here is where I feel like I've gotten stuck on too. I feel like... Let me rest and regenerate a bit. I don't want to get caught off guard in case I actually do run into that fucking Campbell Soup killer kid. The, the, there's a bird nest right over here. I'll pro I probably need bird seed or something to get it off of that nest because there's definitely something there. There's definitely something I need from that bird nest. I f uh, otherwise, I feel like it wouldn't be there unless there was something that I had to do with it. Last time I think I poked it with a stick or... I don't know. I'm going to take another look right now as soon as I'm back in blue. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Why can't I push this crate? Where are you going?
Oh, I can push it now? What the... Why couldn't I push it before? What the hell? Now I can push the crate. What is this? What is it? Full of eggs and junk. There's a key in... I knew there was something in there. There's a key in... West Wing Key. I thought we are in the West Wing. Where's that, that locked door? Oh, dude, see? I knew it. I knew, we, I knew we were going to get somewhere. I told you I had to jing jiggle every doorknob until we found the right thing. West Wing Key. There was, I know there was a d door. What was that one door that was locked? I don't think there's anything else in here. I think I can leave. I, I, I haven't... This is like the first time I'm playing one of these point-and-click adventure games, in, in this case, slash horror games, in a long freaking time. I know. It's that one, downstairs. There's that one room. Although, maybe this... Is this... Was this room locked? I don't remember if this room was locked or open. Because I know those... The West Wing Key. There we go. Here we go. New content. New areas. What we got? What's out here? Wait, is this where I was already? This looks very familiar. You know what? Let me stop one more time. Well, it is like a courtyard, so I'm sure like all four areas kind of circle it, so it's probably just the windows showing that courtyard. But I want to rest, because since this is somewhere I haven't been yet, at least I think I haven't been here, I'm, I might need to run. I want to be rested. Remember, uh, from what I read, as long as I'm in blue, if I get attacked, I can survive up to one attack. Like, I can fight it off or something. So, it's a good idea to be in blue. Yeah, this is new. Okay, yeah, this is very new. Alright, let's go. Let's try left. That's downstairs. Let's keep going this way before we go downstairs. Uh, well, let's see what we got in this room. Oh. Jars and shit. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> oh. Why the hell did I knock that shit? Oh, it's still beating. I love how this game channeled Psycho. <laughs> Do I dare proceed into this room? Yes, I dare. Never let them say that Esp is a coward. Why am I hearing like animal noises, man? Is there like a, 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 a living dead warthog in here? What is in here? Nothing in there, I guess. She just kind of backed away. She didn't say what, what was in there. Yeah, nothing. Anything else in here that I can investigate? That box up there? No. Man, I'm sure that Campbell's kid heard me break that jar. It's probably coming for, re for me right now. And the noises in this room are very unsettling. For being on an NS NES, the su the sound design in this game is, is amazing. Yeah, it's creeping me the fuck out. All right, before we go downstairs, let's go to the right. Man, I really am enjoying this game, you guys. I, I really, I, I dig this game. This, I, I'm actually glad 
that I did not play this game. In a way, I, in a way, I'm glad that I did not play this game as a kid because I think I, I think I would not have, have survived. I would have had a heart attack because this this def this game is definitely like the the Silent Hill, the the Amnesia Dark Descent of its time. This this game is just phenomenal. It it, it gets a little repetitive, but it's just it's awesome. Oh, oh, we got a whole other hallway over here. Uh do I? Proceed down this corridor. Or do I go down the stairs? Let's go down the stairs before, before coming over here. And we got, yeah, we got a whole new leg of the house to, um, or I should say, wing of the house, I guess, to explore now. Purple drapes. I've always wanted purple drapes. Ah! I can't scream like a woman. But you get, I don't know if anybody here's a Simpsons fan and gets that Simpsons reference. Oh yeah, man. There's lots to explore. Yeah. Definitely. This is gonna be an interesting episode here. So is this like a? Is, I'm trying to figure out who the main bad guy is. I'm guessing that that woman, who like looks like, what the? F oh, man, I entered the dollhouse room. Never enter the dollhouse room. They're gonna come to life and kill me. Come to life and kill me. I know it. But anyway, I'm I'm assuming that the main bad guy, so to speak, is the Pamela Voorhees. Was her, her name Mary? Um, and I'm I'm guessing that she's the mom of the Campbell Soup Kid, you know, the 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 dude running around with a giant pair of scissors. What the hell? This is this mannequin's wearing a dress. Looks nice. Oh shit! Oh no 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 shit! Run run! What the hell are you doing? Shit! Oh fuck, come on! Fight him off! Fight him off! No, I probably should not have done that. Run the other way. Oh shit, one of them, one of the mannequins is moving. Run. Oh no, 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 no. Um. Well, I know upstairs is that one room where I can get myself trapped in. Let's try in here. Over here, stupid. Okay. Sit down for a moment. Can you? Let's see how I was able to fight him off. If you're in blue, you can fight off one. No, wait, this is back. I'm going back. No, but that was upstairs. This is the downstairs. But it probably leads back to the same wing. The music has not died down, so I'm assuming that the, the fucking guy is still after me. I love this music, though. I, as creepy as it is, as atmospheric as it is, I love it. Why did they never develop this into a major motion picture? Come on, rest up. You're, you're. Maybe I can't while I'm in like that pursuit mode, or like while I while he's pursuing me. Maybe I can't. Okay, there, never, never mind. I can't. I'm, I'm not trying to run. She's running by herself. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm back into this. Uh, yeah, I'm not pressing the run button. She's she's pressing, she's running by herself. So I guess I'm still in an active like chase mode. Ah. I have to evade him somehow or something. What the hell though? I came from the upstairs and that this leads to the same exact hallway. That's weird. Oh, well, let's keep going this way, I guess. The, the 
the upstairs seems to be a duplicate of the downstairs, or did I go back upstairs? I'm pretty sure I'm downstairs. Oh man, not another bathroom. Why am I in here? What am I doing in here? I'm gonna die. Well, I don't see anything to investigate, so... Yeah, I literally see nothing I can click on, so... You know what? I'll bet I can't until I evade him. But how the hell do I evade him, though? I don't even remember how I did it the first time. But this time he's not... Like, last time he was, like, teleporting all over the place. He not, doesn't really seem to be doing that this time. Yeah, I'm not pressing the run button. She's she's running on her own. Look at her. She's freaking. Dang. She's. Oh, he's coming. Can I not go in that door? What the hell? That door is. It doesn't let me go in that door. But he was coming. He was fucking coming. Get in there. Dead end. Am I back in the other side of the house? That she's gonna kill me. Is there any where I can hide or something? Oh shit, he's coming. Oh man, he's here. Oh dude, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I have to be in blue to fight him off. Shit, okay. Um, piano room bad, don't go in piano room. Why did I have to ask about him? Okay, what was the last thing? Okay, no, get the fuck out of here before he comes in. Let me rest. Yeah, for about a year ago, there was a, a thing that went viral and it was all over Reddit um, called Gorefield, where people started making like horror images of Garfield, where he was like some kind of alien or mutant or just some kind of horror being. Um, and they made an animated version of it. It's called Garfield Game Boy. Oh shit! Man, he's coming again. He's coming from that side though. Um, where he's like animated um, and they used the music from this game I didn't know it until until playing it but I was like this music sounds so damn familiar and I looked it up and yeah sure enough yeah just casually saunter ooh, ooh there's a board there what can I do with that board can I like block the, the way so he can't get up anymore come on he's he's fucking coming do something oh. Man, why aren't you doing shit? I think I have to evade him somehow. How the fuck do I evade him though? It's it's like I can't really seem to interact with shit until I lose him, it seems. Oh again. Cause I'm noticing there's things I should be able to interact with. And I don't seem to be able to interact with anything except the doors. This room looks new. Yeah, see, like, I can't interact with that door. God damn it, here he comes again. I don't know what to do. He's coming for me. I'll just, just 
just gonna. I, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. I, I don't remember how I lost him the first time. I remember he chased me all over the goddamn house the first time. And eventually, like, I lost him. I think I have to find somewhere to hide or something. No, because I hid under the damn bed, and that didn't do shit. I hid under the bed, that didn't do nothing. He, he poked the bed, he stabbed the bed, he didn't kill me. Hey, maybe if I put on the perfume, like, he'll think it's, I'm his mom or something. Feels like someone's watching. Probably that fucking doll right there. Can I hide in here? What is this? Oh, it's the same fucking thing. It's Fuck. Ouch. I tripped. Okay, so that's that room. Don't wanna go in there. Wait, stupid. God damn it. Get the door. Go go to the door. Anything in here? Thing. Oh. oh! Oh, motherfucker! That's right, biatch! That's right, motherfucker! Oh, you just got pwned! People still say pwned. There's something shiny in there. Uh, can I? I guess I can't reach it. Can I use the rope, maybe? Guess not. Alright, you know what? I am gonna save right here. File. Save game position. We're gonna save that to slot 5. That's right. Oop. <laughs> I killed it. I hope I killed him. I don't know if I killed him or, or not, but he, he ain't bothering nobody for a while. Maternity magazine. What does that tell you? There's a slip of paper in a book. Hold the, wait. Wait, what did that okay, there's a slip of paper in a book. Hold the demon idol with great care, a tree in the forest, a person in the crowds. The idol is on a statue. I was on a statue. Okay. I feel pretty proud of myself. We got that son of a bitch. You you in there, huh? Fucking How you doing in there, Charlie? Yeah. I just made you my bitch. You stay under there. You in fucking time out. Fucking time out, you little punk bitch! <laughs> and shit, didn't they ever tell you not to run with scissors? Alright, let's see if now I can investigate this. See, I can click on stuff now. Before I couldn't. What is all this shit in the hanging? It's a French doll. It's hung from the ceiling. I can actually in inspect stuff now. So good to know when you're in like that pursuit mode, you can't really... Which makes sense, because it's like you're not going to be looking around at stuff while you're being pursued. You're just... Isn't that usually one of the oldest tropes in horror stories? Something to do with a, a lost child or, or, a, or a dead child or something. Uh, you know, a mother that dies in childbirth or a, a child that dies during childbirth or born deformed. It's, it's, all, it's always something with childbirth. One of the, ch childbirth, one of the oldest tropes in, in horror. But it is pretty terrifying when done right. 
I mean, children are synonymous with with innocence. So, you know, when you have a something of of, of an evil nature originating um, from from a child, it definitely can stir up a, a lot of fear. The things are written here look serious. What does that even mean? The things written here look serious. Of course, the switch is broken. It's a picture of a woman. This person looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder who lit this. I want to check out that desk. Maybe there's stuff in the desk. Another portrait of a middle-aged woman. Or portrait of a middle-aged woman. We got in a trash can. Empty. There's a pool in the courtyard. Some books. Let's check the desk. This desk is dusty. Is that it? Nothing else of uh, noteworthy in here. I guess not. I like the blue drapes. Appreciate you folks sticking with me while we uh, try to figure out where the hell we we going, where we we're going. Again, hope you have a hope you're having an awesome October, and we hope uh, here at Odds and Ends Gaming that you have a wonderful, fantastic Halloween. But again, stay safe out there. You know, if you're gonna do social gatherings, you know, wear masks and just just try to just try to be 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 careful as careful as you can. Be be safe. For yourself and for others. It's fun to get scared. It's no fun to die. Alright. Yeah, now, see, now I can actually interact with this board here. I bet I can I have to lay it across the gap. Just a simple can I There we go. So in order to do certain things I have to interact with what I'm going to use them for first like for instance I could not I don't want to stop here for a moment there because I, I see a statue and I know there was something about a statue it looks like I can interact with it um, and I want to recharge but um, like with the bird's nest I couldn't push the box until actually I, I observed the bird's nest well, the first time I was trying to poke it with a stick the mama bird came and picked my eyes out um, but I figured there was something I had to do. I thought I had to maybe feed the bird or something, but yeah, it, so it wouldn't let me push the crate until after I interacted with it. Just like here, it wouldn't let me grab the plank of wood until actually I, you know, observed the, the gap. So that's a little jarring, but whatever. Let's see what this statue is. Oh, hmm. The wall looks painted over. Yeah, it's painted over, so what the hell can I do then? I don't think perfume's gonna like melt it. Oh, the idol. An idol is hidden. It's cold. That. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the look of that thing. Oh man, it's gonna do stuff. What happens if I like switch the idol to over here? 
Alright, well it doesn't look like I can do anything with that wall or that idol as of yet. Let's go ahead and keep moving. We'll try to explore this whole floor. More statues. Though that one doesn't look interactable. Is that a word, interactable? So I killed Scissor Boy, or at least I hope I did. I'm, in, what am I talking about? In horror movies, they're never dead the first time. But I at least incapacitated him for a while. So it probably means that... Uh-oh. What is that? You, oh, God damn it. <laughs> this is just a... It's just a fucking cat. Of course the switch is broken. Every goddamn switch is broken. Some tableware here. The china cabinet. Those are the paintings. I'm trying to think where I can possibly use this idol. If I've seen any... Oh, dude, you know what? I wonder that room, you know that room that has the the weird stuff that said they had they had like a poem or something. I wonder if I can use the idol in there. What we got in here? What did I just do? What did I do? I don't did I do s Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's why I want to bash it in with a rock. I mean, this worked before. I mean, if if if. I don't know how that cat has fucking red eyes. Okay, so obviously the the rock is not gonna work. Will the demon idol do anything there? Nope. I probably need some an axe or some shit. What is that? Is that a crowbar? Oh, hello. There you go. Bash the shit out of that. There's a room over there. Who is keeping that cat in the crate? Well, no time like the present to take a look in new spooky boarded up room. It hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. I have no aspirations of the light switch working that doesn't even let me interact with it. I can't get out, it's not... Yeah, it, it doesn't let me... It doesn't even say it's locked or anything, it just doesn't let me get out. Nothing I can interact with in this room. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be important later. Where'd that fucking cat go? Can I take that bar and use it on the other thing? I guess not. See what else is over here, if anything. It 
Looks like that's the end of the road. Okay, I know we have other rooms to explore downstairs and stuff. Plus, we got an idol that we have to do something with. So, let's go ahead and make our way back this way. I want maybe I can use the rock on that other part of the wall. I doubt it, but you never know. Nope. I'll bet that this this is just that room that's been painted over. That's why I couldn't interact with that door because it's been painted over. Is there anything? Why does this statue look like it has like something? Like coming off of it. That's. Can I dress the statue? Nope. Okay, so I've got the idol now. What the hell am I supposed to do with that thing? Uh, I feel like I've already gone over here. Man, why don't I... I need to do a better job of keeping track. Yeah, over here is the library where I, where I, at least temporarily, uh, incapacitated Campbell's soup kid. Pretty sure this is a library. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I already... For at least the first three doors I've already been, is there anything... Fuck it, I'm gonna run. So that's the other part of that room. And then I'm sure that this is the library. Or that room with the books. God, get in there. Yeah. So let's go all the way to the left. Explore this whole top floor, then I'll go to the bottom and make sure I've explored the whole bottom floor. As I think this leads to that other part of the house. I feel like there's more to explore in that room with all the mannequins, too. Okay. So I've officially explored... Anything new in here? Anything I can interact with? Oh god, the noises, the noises. Oh shit! This is new? Yeah, that wasn't there before. I don't know who that is, but, uh... Yeah. Hey, maybe the demon idol will <laughs> bring him back to life. Let's <laughs> see what happens, if anything. I like how it plays it over again. Alright, so no no demon idol for the dead body. That's a bad idea. And that the uh, that dead body's been decomposing for a while, so some somebody picked it up from somewhere and threw it there. Alright lady. Kneel down, take a rest, take a knee. That's it. And then we'll go uh I don't, I don't, again, I don't remember if I'm upstairs or downstairs, but we'll go and check out the other rest of the floor. Damn the noise in this fucking room. I should have rested outside. So for anybody who wants to actually play this game, because it is it is a pretty cool game, uh, it's it's real easy to play. I'm playing it on my computer. Uh, you can just search for an, uh, a Super NES emulator. Um, no, I don't want I don't want to check the door again. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't stop her. Yes, yes. Here we go with the psycho music again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yes, it's Mother Mother Bates. Anyway, um, you can just do a Google search for Super Nintendo emulator. I I can't quite remember the name of this one right now, but uh, it's you can just search. There there are a dime a dozen. You can just search for a Super Nintendo emulator, and then search for um, the ROM. There's different ROM websites. I think I got this the ROM for this game off of a website called Emu E M U Paradise dot org. Um, not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just like, if 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 you guys want to play this game, like if it looks interesting to you, and you do that or you know any other Super NES games that you might want to play, you know, do them with an emulator and uh, it'll you, you'll have no problems. That's how we do our uh, we did our arcade games using Mame. Uh, we were using Project 64 to do uh, our Nintendo 64 games before you know COVID shut down our our official Fallback Friday. Again, fall, uh, Fallback Friday in initial in official capacity is not over. We still wanted wanted to do our um, N64 season. We haven't finished that. Um, we tried to do as you saw some solo sessions of that, but honestly. It's, it's Fallback Friday, in in those respects, is just is just better together. So we're we're holding off on on that. This is this is a kind of a Fallback Friday special. Okay, the head fell off now. Uh, this is something of a special, but uh, yeah, official Fallback Friday, definitely not not gone, not dead. Just kind of on hiatus until the pandemic can get under control. But yeah, be be sure to check back all, all month long for this and everything else. Come. Did you hear that? I didn't see anything, but I heard something. There's nothing over here, though. Oh, now I heard it. Now I see it. That's that one mannequin that's moving around. So at first I thought it was just kind of like a you know like a killer on the loose like a slasher type thing, but no, there's definitely a mix of that and paranormal shit at at work here. I think. Okay, this is an, again a door that leads back to the other part of the house. I'm not ready to go back to the other part of the house. Still exploring all this. Once I'm sure that I've checked, I, I'm, I'm, I know I checked every room on the top floor. So now we're gonna go through every room on the bottom floor and make sure that we check those. See, because I, I know that I was being chased for much of the time that I was down here. So again, it wasn't letting me interact with a lot of stuff. Let's see what this room is. Hey, you know what? I'll tell you what, guys. Um, if you want, comment. Comment below. Um, and if it's something that you want, like if you want me to provide you a, a copy of the emulator itself and the ROM, um, let me know and I'll, 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 I'll provide you a copy. Just, uh, if it's something that you want, leave, uh, leave a comment below. You know, comment on games that you want us to play, things you want us to do, and... Okay, I'm ready for a jump scare here. If there is one. It's gonna be the fucking cat. Looks like the shower's working. A nice... Relatively peaceful shower. Just, oh, oh no! The fucking cat, man! Again with the cat. What? Why the hell does the cat have the red eyes, dude? I'll bet you it's. I'll bet you the cat is like a guardian or something. I'll bet you the cat is not evil. It's like it's like the cat from Coraline. It's like the only th the only good thing, and it's like watching me and protecting me. Either that or it's going to turn into a demon and just fucking rip my eyes out with its claws and then, you know, drink my blood in a ritualistic fashion, you know. Either, it's 50-50. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that door's locked. Come on. No! Didn't mean to go over here yet. Can I not interact with that door? Doesn't look like I can. I would think that it would let me at least t tell me that Elisa was locked or something, but no. I'm getting nothing. I'm pretty sure this is the section that leads back to the other side, side of the house as well. So I know I've already checked all that upstairs. This is the part where the the fl the floor crumbled. Let's see if there's anything else here. Did I check this room? Have I been in this room? Oh, this is the piano room. There's all kinds of music here. Can I turn on the lights? It's a record player. It's unplugged. Can I play the piano? Doom, doom, doom. That's all you can do? Can you do any other tunes or is it going to do the same thing again? Yep, same thing. Ooh. Is there something behind that curtain? Let's take a look at these paintings. Nothing. What the f God damn it, man! He's still. Oh, shit. How the hell? I. Run! What are you doing? She's frozen! She's not doing! She's not moving! Oh, wow, she was waiting for him or what? Oh, man. Oh, I killed him! I killed him! I, I thought I had. Great, now, I was, I was having so much fun exploring. What? What is this place? Well, doesn't look like I can do anything in here, so I ain't, I ain't gonna stick around. Why did I check? Oh man, there's nowhere else for me to go here. I'll tell you what, folks. Here's what we're gonna do. We're approaching on the, the hour mark. So I'm actually going to save it right here. I'm going to create a save state. And we're going to have a... Pers oh, what the fuck? <laughs> he forgets. So there's his teleportation powers in, in uh, uh, on full display there. So here's what <laughs> we're going to do. Hang on. Okay, I was thinking that maybe I could, it would let me go back to the room before I check behind the curtain. Doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility, so what we're going to do is we're going to save, uh, we're going to save the state here, and we're going to go ahead and exit, um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the next time that we, uh, we pick this up, we'll be in pursuit mode right away, um, darn, I was, I was, I didn't get to check that covered, man, now I'm going to have to, like, evade this, this, fucking Campbell soup jackass again before I can, 
you know, started looking around again. And I just, I hadn't seen this room either, so that looked like an interesting room to, like, look around in. But uh, that's going to do it for uh, today, uh, today's episode of Fallback Friday, part of Oddities and Entrails here on Odds and Ends Gaming. Um, again, don't be, don't forget to, to uh, post your pictures of your pumpkins, of your creative carving designs to our Facebook page or to our Discord channel. Uh, the links will be in the description below. So be sure to, 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 to post those. Um, a, on October 30th, we'll be doing the judging, and the, the winner will be the you know the lucky recipient of an Oddities and Entrails uh, limited edition T-shirt. Again, I am Espionage DB7. I do hope that you enjoyed the show. I do hope that you had as much fun as I had playing. I hope you had as much fun watching. And uh, be sure to, if you did enjoy it, be sure to like, leave a like, share it with your friends, you know, to help us grow our channel. Subscribe, uh, hit the notifications button, leave a comment below anything you want uh, but most importantly settle down i'm espionage db7 and you have a great one see ya